Hi, I'm here with Travis Dotson, one of our laboratory safety specialists, and we're here to talk about clinical fume code certification on what we do Wednesday. So times that you should have your fume hoods assessed, if you ever notice that your certification is actually expired, keep in mind we certify those fume hoods for you annually. So if you've passed your uh, one year mark after the inspection date, please go ahead and give us a call. Another time you wanna have your fume hood um, assessed is if this indicator, so it's required that you have a flow indicator on every fume hood. So if your indicator is not moving, or if it's blowing outwards, which means that your ventilation is not working appropriately, then you want to make sure that you get your fume hood assessed then as well. So we're, we're measuring it in feet per minute, the air face velocity, the air going in, pulled in, to a measurement of safety. It's also important to keep the meter very still, as still as possible, while doing this process. So that's nine samples, but I'm going to go ahead and do 11 because it's a larger plate. You can request a chemical fume hood assessment anytime through the use of our website. Go to Academic Safety, Lab Safety Services, find the button for requesting an equipment test. Here you can actually access autoclave fume hood and safety showers. Click on the fume hood button. Let us know why you need an assessment and where you're located and submit the form. At that point, lab safety will come to your laboratory to assess the fume hood and we'll let you know the results of the assessment after we get it completed. Thank you for considering EHS a partner in safety to you. And thanks for watching What We Do Wednesday.